Welcome to another drum tutorial about speed, drum speed, of course. It's just a matter of not thinking about slow, just think about speed. So sometimes you think, oh, I'm never going to get that speed out of it. But just always try to look behind the mountain. That's actually your barrier. So if you think, oh, I'll never get that fast, just try to find a way to get faster. Because other people can do it, so you can do it as well. It's a matter of practice. So in this episode, I'm going to tell you something about stick control and how you can gain speed with just one hand. So uh, holding the stick, most people hold the stick like this. Sorry. Most drummers hold the stick like this. That means that they squeeze mainly the stick between the index finger and the thumb. They hit like this. Practically a year ago, I discovered a guy on the internet, and his name is Murray Spivak. Murray used to be a drum teacher in the previous century. Before he was teaching drums, he was um, a sound engineer for, for a lot of movies in, uh, in Hollywood. So when he was retired, he started to, uh, to teach drums, and he was teaching like uh, Louis Belson, Joe Morello, and a lot of uh, contemporary drummers followed the same technique as Murray. So that means actually that you hold your stick with your middle finger. So not with these two. These two are just there to navigate the stick. So here you hold the stick with this one. Not too tight, of course. And these two yeah, are just guiding the stick. And these two as well. They are just navigating. So the stick is the extension of the arm. Make sure it's always pointing straight ahead, so don't do it like this, don't point it like that. Make sure this always stays open, so between the thumb and the index finger. Never squeeze it, like this. Like this. Right. You keep just moving like this. this. This middle finger never loses touch with the stick. There's still a lot of energy in that stick. I'm not going to throw it again. So if you keep just catching the stick, so actually you throw it away and catch it. So drumming is not about holding the stick. It's basically about letting go of the stick. And then you can feel that because you're not squeezing with these two fingers, the stick has much more space to actually bounce back or be free. So it's all about freedom. So now I'm going to show you two exercises. One exercise I could find on the internet where uh, Murray was teaching and was saying that you actually get speed out of one hand with 112 BPM. So not faster, not slower, and that's one exercise you do for 10 minutes. So every day, if you practice, you choose four to six exercises I'm going to show you in these videos and then you play them all for 10 minutes and you take a five minute break in between. So this is one of them. The next one is an exercise that starts with actually two, four, eight, twelve, sixteen. So in the next clip, I'm going to show you the exercise in 170 BPM and then in 200 BPM.
back to the artwork division. This artwork can be yours if you're the fifth or the fifteenth subscriber to this video. So like it and subscribe. So we'll see each other in the next tutorial. Take care. Ciao.